So the first thing we're going to be talking about is remain in Mexico. You might have heard about this. This is something that the Trump administration implemented to, well, keep people from pouring over the borders and staying here and dispersing and they were being released and then uh, just disappearing into the into America and hiding out and finding family members or whatever. And this rule basically forced them to wait in Mexico, remain in Mexico while um, their visas were being worked out or whatever their cases, anything that was um, being worked on for them to legally come in uh, because it's not legal to come in illegally. This is something that a lot of people uh, like to make fun of conservatives and Republicans. They say, well, you don't want people coming in to, you know, because you're racist. And it's like, well, no, we want people coming in legally. Like my wife, we paid thousands of dollars and went through the ringer and had interviews to prove that we were actually married so that she can legally live in America with me. I mean, that's the legal way to do it, right? So this is, it pisses me off when I see them printing out visas with no name on it. Just, you could just, just print this visa out and bring it with you and we'll let you into the, um, that's what's going on in, in Afghanistan right now. But this of course is by the Southern border. So I first saw this uh, just yesterday. This is from Greg Abbott. Breaking, the U.S. Supreme Court tells Biden administration to reinstate the remain in Mexico policy put in place by the Trump administration. You gotta love it. This halts Biden's skirting of immigration laws and will to reduce the record number of migrants entering illegally. It is an insane amount of people spilling over the border. They are just coming over in droves. I've seen uh, semi-trailers filled with people just pouring out. It's it's crazy. They're wearing Biden shirts. I don't know where they're getting these Biden shirts anyway. But this, I think this is fantastic news. Uh, this is from Politico. Gives you a little more insight here. The Supreme Court has issued an order effectively forcing the Biden administration to restore the Trump administration's remain in Mexico policy which required many asylum seekers to wait in Mexico while they await hearings on their requests for safe haven in the United States. The highest court's order, excuse me, the high court's order as well, it is the highest court, uh, issued on Tuesday evening over the dissent of the court's three Democratic appointees rejected the Justice Department's request for a stay that would have allowed the controversial policy to remain on ice while litigation over President Joe Biden's effort to rescind it continues. The ruling is a victory for the states of Texas and Missouri, who, uh, which sued over the repeal of the policy and won a ruling from a federal judge in Texas earlier this month, requiring that the Biden administration return to the practice President Donald Trump instituted in January 2019. U.S. District Court Judge Matthew Kaxmerich a Trump appointee in Amarillo, Texas, ordered on August 13th that the Biden administration reinstate the policy within seven days. The judge accepted arguments from the Republican Attorney uh, General of Texas and Missouri that the Biden administration had failed to comply with legal requirements to consider all relevant factors before halting the Trump era policy. Critics of the Trump policy said it risked the lives of migrants by requiring them to wait in Mexico including in the border cities, they are plagued by gangs, drugs, and violence. Trump aides said it averted the problems of immigrants failing to show up at the immigration hearings after being released to live in the U.S. Immigrant rights advocates expressed disappointment in the high court's actions, but stressed that Biden still had the authority to repeal the Trump-era policy through a new process that courts would approve. Quote, the Biden administration was correct to rescind the Trump return to Mexico policy, remain in, remain in Mexico policy, just semantics, got to poke, poke when I can, uh, continuing on here, uh, the point, the whole point of which was to punish people for seeking asylum by trapping them in miserable and dangerous conditions, end quote, said Omar Jadwat of the American Civil Liberties Union. Quote, the government must take all steps available to fully end this illegal program, 
including by re-terminating it with a fuller explanation. What it must not do is use this decision to cover for abandoning its commitment to restore a fair asylum system. Look, I, I mean, I just want to say real quick, I am all for offering asylum to people who really need it. America is a melting pot, right? We have had people all across this planet come to America to feel what it's like to be free, to work hard and, and make life for yourself because that's what you get in America. If you work hard, chances are you're going to be successful. And that's just how it works. So if people want to really come from a place that's terrible, like take Afghanistan, for example. I'm sure there are lots that should come to America. They still should come legally, right? There is no accepting illegal immigration. I'm sorry. Every single person should be vetted. There's all sorts of different articles that I'm reading that the Taliban are taking advantage of this new visa printout system to send people over here that who we wouldn't want here. Actual terrorists that want to see harm come to America. I mean, we knew about what was September 11th long beforehand. In fact, uh, someone introduced me to Ahmad Massad, uh, who's actually the son of the anti-Taliban fighter, um, whose father warned the U.S. government about the Taliban attacking us. And now it's even worse because they have those visa printouts. So they could just abuse the system and get here, and who knows what they're going to do once here, right? It's crazy. People are flooding. I mean, talk about Cuba for a second. You're right. They didn't let Cubans come in. Why? Cubans should should be allowed to come here. It's terrible there. There's a regime that takes, excuse me, all the money that are, is sent down there for help. The, 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 the Cubans aren't getting it. The populace isn't getting it. It's the elites in control. Communism. Hmm? Ever heard of it? Yeah, it's terrible. Hey, I'm not saying these people that are coming up from the southern border should not have asylum. I'm saying they should go through the legal the, the legal method, not just come over the border and just hide out and just live here. That's that's not okay. Paolo Lu, uh, Luisi of Families Belong Together, a coalition of immigrant rights groups, says many people waiting in Mexico for their asylum cases have been kidnapped, raped, and even killed as a direct result of this policy. They came to our doorstep with a belief in America, and our government sent them into danger. We cannot accept any policy, even temporary, that separates families. We urge the Biden administration to do everything within our means to put an end to this cruel remain in Mexico policy once and for all. Look, they should start the process before they even get here. All right, slamming the southern border. We got hundreds of thousands of people coming. How are we supposed to vet these people? Where are we supposed to put them? Right? They're forcing people into camps now. There's there is literally kids in cages. Where yet, AOC? It's it's not a good situation down there. They should remain where they're at. And, and come through the legal channels. Obviously, I'm not an expert on what where they are at or any sort of immigration law or anything like that. I, I'll be the first to admit that. But I want everything to be done legally. Right? Oh, well, is it morally sound? Is it morally sound to keep kids in cages? Separated from their families? I mean, they screeched at the top of their lungs at Trump for years for doing uh, who built the cages Joe it was Obama and you Joe guess what Trump was actually reducing those cages he was closing those facilities because of this it's a mess it's a mess all around of course it's a shame duh I want to give these people asylum but they can't just come here expecting it. And that's what Joe, Joe Biden basically said to these people. We're going to give amnesty to anyone. Everyone. And then, of course, guess what happens? They started running to our borders. 
Trump had Mexico uh, starting to defend its southern border so people wouldn't just come through and have they would have to deal with the people. It was actually making an impact. So people would actually have to go through the legal means to come here legally. It was working. Ugh. There's a lot more mumbo jumbo about complaining about the Republicans and how it's it's illegal. But look, I'm happy. I'm happy that it, it got it's supposed it has to be reinstated. I doubt he's gonna reinstate it because you know Joe Biden is is, is a regime. It's not an administration. Um, Joe Biden's administration, I guess, would be more accurate because I don't really believe that man is in control at all. But it was a 5-4 decision. Um, oh no, this was uh, the original one, right. Yeah, I'm so sick of this. I'm done. Because Politico, ugh, Politico. You know, it's so annoying reading an article where, you know, you know a general scope of the whole situation and you see how they skew it to a leftist bias. Look, I'm biased. I know I am. I admit it, right? But man, I, I'm biased toward logic and the truth of the matter. When it's so obvious that they're skewing it to make people who read this be like, yeah, Trump is a racist. It was a racist policy. No, it was a, we need to make people come to America legally. If they want to come to America, fine. Do it legally. Trump's own family came here legally and made a, a, a name for themselves. Trump is one of the most famous names on the planet right now. It is. And that's because his grandfather came here from Germany to make a name for himself. And he did it. It's amazing. But he did it legally. More of this. We need more of this. The Supreme Court defending America. I'm all about it, baby. Let's bring it up. Let's bring it. And, and you know, it's even more messed up because I'm on Twitter and I see these people that are angry about it. Let's go back to, let's see. See, Scott Pressler says victory. Team democracy. Oh, so I guess you don't need that almost 2 billion for wall construction then. Yeah, we absolutely do. Finish that wall. Can't blame immigrants on the COVID spike in Texas anymore. Uh, well, it, it spiked already because of them. Hello. This is nice. I'm a Floridian who is a huge fan of what you do, Governor. Man, everybody is It's either stoked about it or can't stand it. Make all school kids safe. Oh, this is just absolutely ridiculous. But... I don't want to get in trouble, but I think you agree with me there. If not, that's fine because that's how I feel.